this has already been covered in depth by Space Talk and Eckert's Ladder and other great channels, but we did finally get an actual visual representation of the New Republic Starhawk, and I'd feel weird if I'd never talked about it, so here we go. The Starhawk-class battleship was created for the New Republic by cobbling together disassembled Imperial ships after the Battle of Endor. It was described as having a hatchet shape with an interior full of bright, clean curves, probably something similar to the Tanta V4. More heavily armed than a Mon Calamari cruiser, it carried ion torpedoes, concussion missiles, and turbo lasers, enough to take on an Imperial Star Destroyer by itself. However, it was still outclassed by Super Star Destroyers in every area but one. The Starhawk's tractor beam was powered by Magnite Crystals, which gave it ten times the strength of a normal tractor beam. During the Battle of Jakku, the Starhawk Concorde, under the command of Commodore Kirsta Agate, was able to drag the Super Star Destroyer Ravager down to the planet's surface, where it would remain for 29 years until Rey eventually flew the Millennium Falcon through it. We haven't been given any official measurements for the Starhawk, but Eckert's Ladder did some good sleuthing and estimating based on some common design elements. Like I mentioned, those new ships used pieces of old Imperial ships, and one of those pieces seemed to be their shield generators. Eckert suggested someone could match up the shield generators for a size comparison, and then Twitter user Ben Hauer, or at bhauer1138, did exactly that. So then I slapped a line on the Star Destroyer and scaled it up until it was the same length as the Starhawk, which is about 15% larger. So if a Star Destroyer is about 1,600 meters in length, a Starhawk should be about 1,840 meters. But that's a super rough estimate. Basically, they're just a little bit bigger than a Star Destroyer. For our Q&A a little while back, Cryptic Element asked if the finalized design of the Starhawk could mean we might see them in Episode 9. I think that's unlikely. I imagine the design was created for Star Wars Armada's purposes, and sure, it'll appear here and there in new Star Wars stories, maybe some that are currently in development. But by the time of the rise of Skywalker, they will have been 30 years old. They are outdated technology, and the New Republic fleet was entirely destroyed in The Force Awakens. That said, the fact that they are outdated could mean that they were spared destruction, and maybe they're sitting around unused somewhere. And I should also mention that in the novelization for The Last Jedi, Leia fantasizes about a miracle rescue where Inferno Squad returns with allies from the Outer Rim with a full task force of Starhawks. So I have to imagine if she's thinking about that, that the ships are still in use somewhere in the galaxy. I still don't think they'll show up in 9, but I'd also say that story material makes it possible. But that's it for today. If there are any other ships you'd like to see me cover like this, let me know in the comments. And if ships are your thing, you really should be subscribed to Space Dock. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.